On 28 January 1819, the ship named Indiana was sailing towards Singapore with rattles on board, accompanied alongside with Farquhar and a group of sepoys to look for a suitable place to set up a British trading settlement. The British government wanted to look for a place that was not controlled by the Dutch, at the same time, to maintain good relations with them. Upon reaching near the mouth of Singapore River, he saw the far side of the island through his telescope. On 29 January 1819, Raffles and his assistant, Major William Farquhar, landed on the island of Singapore. At that time, there was only a small Malay fishing village on the island. The village was surrounded by forests and swamps. Some Morang Laowood and Chinese lived near the village. The houses are all cluttered in a disorderly manner. Raffles was impressed by what he saw in Singapore. As she has a harbour with deep waters for big ships to call on the port and plenty of fresh water. She will always remain a free port and is located on the main route between India and China. With these reasons, Raffles could imagine Singapore would grow into a prosperous port. A ceremony was held to install Tunku Hussain as the Sultan of Johor. Raffles, Sultan Hussein and that Meng Gong signed an agreement allowing Raffles to set up a British trading settlement in Singapore. This is the last page of the agreement signed during the ceremony. And these are the contributions made by Raffles.